Well, the, the focus of my talk really was on neurodegeneration in MS. And, you know, the field has focused on inflammatory demyelination for a long time, and certainly anti-inflammatory therapies are making a huge difference in the quality of life of individuals uh, with MS. But many times, unfortunately, they don't stop the disease, they slow it. And so the thought is there's a different component other than inflammation in the MS brain. And that, I think there's a consensus now that that's neurodegeneration. And so historically, we had thought that most neurodegeneration or all neurodegeneration was a result of demyelination. And certainly we and others have described that where axons are transected in the acute lesion, where chronic demyelination results in degeneration uh, of axons. And finally, the cortical demyelination not only can destroy the axon, but also the neuron. Um, our new data raises the possibility or supports the possibility that demyelination and neurodegeneration can be independent events. And this was something we stumbled upon. We really weren't looking for it, but we have this rapid autopsy program at the Cleveland Clinic to analyze the brains and spinal cords with individuals with MS. And what we noticed uh, in the autopsy suite is a brain that we cut had no lesions in the brain white matter. And, well, first question, is this MS? Well, it was MS, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, but it was quite clear they had no cerebral white matter demyelination. And uh, they did have MS because they had spinal cord demyelination, and they had some cortical demyelination. So we called it myelocortical. So this provided a platform for us to study the relationship between cerebral white matter demyelination and cortical neuronal loss. And so the initial hypothesis was that we'd find more cortical neuronal loss in individuals with cerebral white matter demyelination and less in this group of myelocortical patients. So we did an extensive study on cortical neuronal density in the cerebral cortex, looking at areas that didn't project or receive input from the spinal cord so we could reduce uh, the direct effect of spinal cord demyelination. And to our surprise, we found more neuronal loss in myelocortical than we did in typical MS. And so that's really the major finding of that Lancet Neurology paper published uh, last fall. So what this does is present evidence that supports the concept that neurodegeneration and demyelination can be independent events in MS. Not a new concept, but probably the, the first pathological evidence to support that. The imaging people have been suggesting that may be a, the case based on correlations between disability and white matter lesions um, in, uh, in the living MS patient.